What's going on everybody? So do you want to know how to take a disgusting frag like this and turn it into something like this? Stay tuned and I'm going to show you the cleanup crew that I keep in my 75 gallon reef tank. All right, everybody. So first cleanup crew member on my list is the blue leg hermit crabs. These guys to me are definitely the most important member to have in a reef tank. So when I'm at the LFS and I'm picking out the blue leg hermits, I try to find the smallest ones possible. When they're itty bitty babies, they can get into all those nooks and crannies and just rip away at the algae. You can see here, this little guy is taking care of business. I put these frags at the bottom of the tank and within one day they just vacuumed off all the hair algae did what they were supposed to do so blue leg hermit crabs in my opinion is the number one cleanup crew member that you should have now let's take a look at my number two favorite number two is the astraea snail astraea snails are about a half inch in diameter these guys are really really good at peeling away the algae on your rocks, on your glass, and sometimes on frag plugs that are sitting on your rocks. Um, they're really good if you have a frag rack, they can get to the frag plugs from that way. So they're definitely a good, good selection to have. I try to keep about 20 to 25 of these guys in my 75 gallon tank. The only bad thing about them is, is if they fall, they cannot turn themselves and write themselves up. So you gotta watch out for that. Number three on my list is the Tiger Conch. Now the Tiger Conch is my preferred method for cleaning the sand bed. This guy just does work all day. He's constantly pushing himself along the sand, turning it around, and he has a really, really long snout. And when he's moving things around and picking at detritus once in a while, they'll eat a little bit of algae, but they're basically just detritus eaters and they do a really, really good job of it. These guys can write themselves up if they fall backwards. So again, the tiger conch is a must have. Number four on my list is the Nasaria snail. Nasaria snails are good for almost everything. They will eat and they will find any little tiny piece of uneaten food on your sand bed Sometimes they'll be climbing up on your rocks looking for food. Uh, most of the time they just bury themselves about a half inch into the sand with their little snorkel sticking out and as soon as they smell food they get right out, find it, eat it, and they will even take a dead fish and just devour it down to the bones. These guys can also write themselves up if they fall over so the Nasaria snail is a guaranteed in my tank. And last but not least, which is a relatively new cleanup crew member is the Spiny Star Astraea Snail. They do pretty much the same thing as the other style Astraea Snail. They don't move around that much, but when they do find something and they do find a little bit of algae, whether it be on the rock or on the glass or on your frag rack, they will sit there for quite a while and work at it until it's all gone. And let's just take a quick break to look at this nice Favia. Ooh, I got that from Reef Coat the other day. So anyway, yep, the Spiny Star Astraea Snail will be a consistent member in my reef tank. So I hope this video was good, and I hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys on the next one.